Hello everyone, and welcome to day 241 of playing for Sofa Golden in real time. This series where I play the day in the game on the same date in real life, one day at a time. Now, I've been doing this for the last 240 days, so if you could subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. But without further ado, today is December 7th, so let's go ahead and see what the gang is up to today. Getting synced up to start us off as usual. You fully recovered from yesterday's events. We should go over to the TV world with everyone after school. Yeah, I feel like going to school with all this going on must feel pretty mundane. You know, we got Teddy now at least, so hopefully we can track down Adachi. I'll give it a try, but if Risei chan couldn't find him, I really doubt someone with a dried up nose like me will be much help. Hmm. 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 I do smell a dachi baby in here, but the fog is completely covering up his scent. Teddy, you can't do it either? When you look at me with those eyes, I get this feeling. I've got to sniff him out no matter what! This is my time to shine! Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting something! Okay, Teddy's going Super Saiyan. Teddy? Hey, quit wandering around. You better not flake out on us again. Yeah, he just leaves. Huh? I sense it from this away. Is it Itachi? Um, how do I put it? It's kind of hazy, but at the same time, it feels like I've got a whopper on the line. I don't get it. Very suspicious. This definitely smells. But that's weird. If I remember right, that's where Sensei, Yosuke, and Chie-chan came from when I met them for the first time. When we first... where was that? Oh, you mean that creepy-ass room where all the faces on the posters were cut out? Yep, there's someone there! Teddy, you really are amazing! It was just dumb luck. It's because that's where I first sensed Sensei and the others. That's why it kind of smelled over there. I don't think I've ever seen Teddy make that face before. Oh, I see. Wait, did you say it smelled? Wasn't that the room where Yosuke had to go to the bathroom and... Huh? Yeah, You're saying he beat his pants there? Oh, I don't want to hear it. Oh, you lie so bad. Dude, I did not piss my pants. She had quit spreading random rumors about stuff like that. Uh, well, it happened so long ago, my memory's kind of fuzzy, you know? Okay, guys, enough fuzziness. Follow me, the master of fuzzy logic. <laughs> I mean, it must have been pretty distinct for all the stuff to happen with the TV world. It's just like, oh, the TV world, <laughs> the shadows, the sunglasses, Yosuke peed himself, so really oh, people went missing. about your sense of humor. A cheerful mood has returned to the group, thanks to Teddy. And you've taken another step toward the truth. Okay, making some more progress. The Seekers of Truth social link has reached level 7. The damn bitch. I noticed her first, and she just had to run off and have an affair. Who's there? Oh, it's you guys. You're very persistent. Let's say... I mean, let's go ahead and mention the actual suspicion and see how he reacts, well, responds to that. So let's say you're the real killer. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not lying your way out of this one, damn it! Just being here proves it! Answer us! You're the one who threw Ms. Yamano into the TV, aren't you? It was an accident. She started struggling. What else was I supposed to do? I called her out to the lobby because I wanted to ask her something, and then she started getting hysterical on me. Who are you? And what's this something important you called me out here for? What they say on the news isn't true, is it? 
All that talk about you having an affair and whatnot, it's all a lie, right? Why do I have to explain myself to you? I see. So you don't deny it. You caught my eye. But it turns out you're another worthless bitch. What's wrong with you? Don't make me call for help. <sighs> shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I think you need to see what it's like to fear for your life. It'll get your head straight. <laughs> what are you going to do? I definitely she, didn't expect this behavior from in. the guy who threw up <laughs> when he first saw a victim. Wow! So people can go completely inside! Good thing for me no one else was around there in the middle of the night. That happened in our lobby? I learned about the Midnight Channel through some rumor. You hear a lot of fishy stories like that on the Force. But it was pure coincidence that I touched the screen and discovered my power. I burst out laughing when I found out. I knew right away that this was going to be interesting. So you tested it out on Mayumi Yamano? Nah, it was nothing like that. I'm a very sincere fellow. I was just trying to punish the stupid bitch a little for betraying me. Yeah, putting them inside the TV was never the plan. But you know, both Mayumi and that dippy high school girl struggled for no reason. Then you were responsible for Saki-senpai's death! Saki? Oh yeah, her name was Saki Kunishi, or something like that. At first I just called her in because of work-related stuff, her being the one who found Mayumi's body and all. And naturally, if there was any chance she'd seen something, I'd need to know, right? So I was all set to be a nice guy to her. And then that bitch. Yeah, Adachi being an incel is kind of unexpected, but What's also about, kind of very expected. Didn't you call me in for more questions? Well, we'll get to that. But you know, I saw you this afternoon. You were getting pretty cozy with that Namatame. Huh. So I'm not good enough for you. Well, I know how to deal with girls like you. No! God, I'm kind of surprised you fit today. in that TV. This world's gone straight to shit. When I was in school, I wasn't allowed to do anything but study my ass off. I was supposed to be the best of the best, and instead they stick me in the boonies. But I guess I got this sweet power to make up for it. <laughs> Life's not so bad after all. Get on your knees and beg, and maybe I'll let you out. <laughs> yeah, like that'll happen. <laughs> As if I'd walk into a death trap like that. It was a lot easier the second time. High school girls are thinner, you know, lighter. You son of a bitch! Come on, give me a break. I didn't know it was dangerous inside the TV. It's not like I was trying to kill them. He literally I mean, I'm called sure it they a death hit on Namatame, not the other way around. The council secretary will one day rise to public office himself. Mayumi and that high schooler were just gold digging. They got exactly what they deserved. I didn't do anything wrong at all. Shut the hell up! You knew from what happened to Mayumi Yamano that people die in here! <sighs> So what if I knew? I mean, I don't know how he spent so much time with this guy and never realized that he was such a sociopath. Let's go ahead and ask... Well, we kind of know the suspects, or the people that went missing. I think his relation to Namatami is definitely something we need to learn more about. Nah, he called the police in the middle of the night, just after they found that Saki girl's body. The rest of the force had their hands full with the double homicide. And it happened that I was the one who took the call. Namatame said the police refused to take him seriously. You were responsible for that then. Oh, quite the contrary. If anyone else had taken the call, sure. But I actually did believe him, you know. Huh, that's the pattern to the two deaths so far? And now you're seeing a girl in a kimono on that weird program. And you think she'll die too, is that right? Namatame-san, 
Do you seriously expect us to believe something like that? But... but it's true! If there's any way the police can protect her... Listen, there's no way the police are going to make a move based on a fantasy story like that. <laughs> it does sound interesting, though. B but Oh, I have an idea. If you really want to save her that much, why not do it yourself? Like, you could shelter her somewhere. Some place where no one could find her. Where no one could find her? Save her yourself. You can do it. I'm busy, so I'm hanging up now. Bye. It does seem a little weird that they got a call from a councilman who is a former <laughs> suspect, amazing? and they're like, let's of let all a doctor handle the call. could have received Namatami's call, it ended up being me. Talk about luck! All I did was give him a little push, and he completely bought into his vision of this world. The more people you guys saved, the more he'd kidnap. Both sides had the best of intentions, so the game of cat and mouse would never end. <laughs> it was awesome. You gotta be shitting me! Why? What reasons could you have for doing that? <laughs> reasons? None, really. I could do it, that's all. And it was fun. I guess that's my reason? You murdered people just for the fun of it? Come on. All I did was put people in here. I didn't murder them. And Namatame did most of it. I had nothing to do with any of you. You're just dodging the blame! Yeah? Then how would you prove it? He put people inside TVs? <laughs> you think the police are that stupid? <laughs> what a jerkwad! I do Teddy admit, with though, a strong language. I never thought you guys would manage to track me down. I like that. Games like this gotta have surprises or they get boring fast. It's like when I dealt with that Kubo kid. That was fun, too. Then... You mean to say that Mitsuo Kubo's disappearance was your doing as well? I did sense something odd in his course of action. If he had special powers and wanted attention, why resort to a regular copycat crime? But that wasn't the case. Kubo had no such powers. In fact, he was thrown in by you. Am I correct? It had been a while since I last put someone inside the TV, so I really got a kick out of that one. Why did you do that? And how come Mitsuo didn't say anything about you? <laughs> you think that didn't occur to me before I did it? Come on, I'm a detective. I led him through to a room at the station with the TV, switched off the lights, and did it quick while he was still startled. As long as he didn't see me push him in and no one else did either, no one would believe him, even if he survived. Of course, I don't think the Kubo kid ever figured out what happened. <laughs> Wait, the police station? Yeah. He turned himself in pretty quick, actually. This was back when we didn't even know enough to issue a search warrant. But the other officers decided it was just a prank, so they pawned him off on me. I didn't blame them. I mean, a kid coming and saying, I did it all! It was me! Who'd believe him? But it looked bad. I didn't think anyone would come forward and take the blame for all the incidents. The police were desperate dependent on anyone. If this kid really did it, they might have announced the case was closed. And if that happened, Namatame would stop saving people. I couldn't let that happen, or the game would be over. That's why I told the others I sent him home. I came up with the idea to put him inside the TV on the spot. The game would be over? You threw him in just so your fun wouldn't end? You gotta have some excitement in life, don't you agree? But then you guys put your foot in it yet again and ruined my fun. Thanks to you, Kubo was arrested again, and everyone acted like he was the true culprit behind it all. <sighs> Couldn't they see how badly he copied the crime scene? It worked out in the end, though, because good old Namatame kept saving people. I guess the guy started to develop some kind of messiah complex, huh? <laughs> what an idiot. This is all a game to you. How dare you murder people? Murder Saki-senpai for such a stupid reason! You bastard! I'll never forgive you! You can keep your forgiveness. Our world will probably become just like this place soon enough anyways. Didn't you notice? The fog's leaking out. Everything on that side's pretty much screwed. The two worlds will merge soon, and then there'll be no difference. No sides anymore. What the hell's he talking about? This isn't his real body. The real Adachi is somewhere else. Huh. 
But this guy feels different from an ordinary shadow. It doesn't seem like he's going berserk. He also doesn't have yellow glowing <laughs> wow. eyes. You can tell that much? This me is just around to greet you guys, and thank you for wasting your time by chasing me in here. I'd say this world has taken a real shine to me. I feel like it's giving me everything I've ever wanted. And the monsters don't attack me at all. Maybe they can tell we have the same goal. The Shadow's goal? By the end of the year, Inaba will disappear completely into the fog. Soon, this place will be reality. I'll be in this world, so if you want me, come and get me. This world has a mind of its own. We'll see which of us it favors. Keep your bullshit to yourself. It's about time you shut the hell up. We'll finish this right now! What a chump! Didn't, chump. I, Didn't just I just tell, tell you the real me is somewhere else? else? I'll be expecting you all. We'll put an end to this. I mean, if that Get was the real him, that would have been a pretty yeah. good bluff. But, you know, up until Kanji would have punched him in the face. That stuff about the world's mind and how this place will become our reality. Was he serious? The rest of his confessions were consistent. We'd best proceed under the assumption that it's no lie. It felt like he's gained some strong power after coming here. Not only that, maybe he got taken over by that power. So what he said about the two worlds becoming one, that's really gonna happen? Didn't he say that it would happen by the end of this year? What happens then? I think he means this world will engulf the human world. The people in town are acting weird. It's like when the shadows that emerged from people went berserk. If the fog gets even thicker, and this town is completely shut off from the outside world, then the other side might become full of shadows, like over here. You mean everyone's gonna turn into shadows? Damn it! Damn that bastard! Why? We went through so much to get here, and now it turns out he was pulling our strings this whole time? Let's say... let's end this. Yeah. It's about time we finish this. I don't want to feel this way ever again. There's a path we can take now. I sense Adachi's presence from that direction. He's taunting us. Bring it on! Let's go kick his ass right now! Wait. I suggest we prepare ourselves first. We can't let him stab us in the back ever again. We must face him with all the power at our disposal and defeat him without fail. I'm a little worried what he means by the end of the year, but now's not the time to freak out. Let's get prepared. Let's get over prepared and leave footprints all over his stupid smug face. By fooling all your strength, the path to the truth has been opened. Okay, getting pretty close to the end of this one. The Secrets of Truth social link has reached level 8. Your power to create personas of the Judgment Arcana has grown. Senpai, please don't go on alone. I understand that it must hurt, since you seem to have a personal relationship with him. Maybe that's why. I feel a presence kind of like yours up ahead. He might be calling to you. Wait, never mind. Forget I said that. We're all going together, okay? Promise us. The unexpected true culprit has finally been confirmed. Before the end of the year, this town will be swallowed by the fog. You must finish things before then. You resolve to be fully prepared before facing Adachi. Okay, sounds like things are kind of close to wrapping up, or at least coming to a head. But for now, let's go ahead and save, and then I'm guessing we have to get to bed now. You should rest early today to get ready for the search. Any velvet room? It's a quiet night. You remember what your friend said. He might be calling to you. We're all going together, okay? Promise us.
what should you do? Hmm. I mean, it is pretty tempting. Let's go ahead, talk with him one-on-one. -on -one. If you leave now, you may be able to make it in time before View Nest closes. Okay, I thought I was going to go through my small TV. You decide to go to Adachi's house. View Nest Electronics Department. There's nobody around. The room is quiet. There's no sign of anyone around. Is Adachi here? The entrance disappeared. This is a problem. Why didn't you bring the rest of them? You're such a party pooper. You couldn't even bring your wannabe detective friend? Maybe I shouldn't have come by myself. Let's go ahead, you know, a lot of the game is about bonds and building friendships and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and try communicating first. And so let's go ahead and talk to them. To what? Change my mind? Don't kid yourself. Your whole gang should be here. You know, work together, beat the bad guy. Friendship, effort, victory. You guys love that stuff. say I mean it does feel like a lot of this is coming from not feeling like he doesn't have any power and so let's go ahead and say I believed in you maybe that will turn him around oh really just what was it about me that made you want to believe in me so bad well I don't have anything to say to you if crimes could be solved by appealing to morality we wouldn't need the police. The person you believed in was a version of me who only existed in your head. You decided on your own to believe in me, and that decision betrayed you. Why complain about it to me? Say... I mean, he is a sad human being, but I don't think telling him that at the moment is gonna help. Let's go ahead and try to get him a bit more grounded in reality. Imagine Dojima. You say the dumbest shit. It's people like you who come to me alone, naively thinking you can turn me around, that piss me off the most. What do you think will happen if I shoot you? I mean, I don't see why he can't shoot me. I mean, ideally, my persona would be released like in Persona 3, but I'm guessing the rules are a bit different here. Let's go ahead and say you commit one more crime. Because I mean, telling You're him right. he can't do something, that's, that's definitely going to be something be. that makes him want to do it. The bullet brushed your ear. You smell the acrid scent of burning gun smoke. It's like I missed. Do you get it Let now? Let me move closer. We're done talking. I won't miss next time. It didn't seem like a threat, but you don't think you can talk to Adachi anymore. You feel that your relationship with Adachi has changed dramatically. I'd say so. die and I am thou. Thou hast seen, hast seen how bonds may change. The bond that hath changed is thy first step in learning the truth. Thou must bear thine inner power of the jester becoming hunger. Interesting. Toru Adachi's social link arcana has changed from the jester to hunger. Want me to let you choose? You can go back to your friends and bring them all here. Or you can die now. I, mean, let's I guess friends. regular revenge is boring, though. Let me see where your detective work takes you. It's always good for a laugh. You're so persistent. Look at all that youthful vigor you've got. 
Come on, leader. Bring all your friends back here. Well, bye-bye. The entrance is closed. It seems Adachi is blocking you. That Adachi wasn't the real him either. Unless you come back with your friends, you won't be able to reach Adachi. You must go back for now. Welcome back. Oh. I told you not to we go alone. Caught. Though I knew you would anyway. It's okay. I understand. I'll keep it a secret from the others, and I won't ask about Adachi for now. But come on, you should trust us more. Yosuke seems a bit sad. Anyway, I'm glad you're safe. <clears throat> Attention, customers! It is now closing time. Please visit us again tomorrow. You can't get through to Adachi. The day that the town will be swallowed by the fog should be near the end of the year. You must reach a decision by then. You must prepare yourself as completely as possible. Okay. Another very story-heavy day. I mean, Yosuke being disappointed in us, that's uh, a bit disheartening, but, you know, it seems like he knew what was going to happen, but I'm glad he didn't, like, paint a TV screen onto the wall and we just go Wily Coyote into it. But, yeah, I mean, at this pace, I'm kind of surprised because each of, like, the last, like, three days or so have all been, like, very long, story-heavy days with lots of, like, actual recorded dialogue. And so I don't know how they're going to keep up the pace moving forward, but I guess we'll find out one day at a time. But that's going to wrap up the gameplay portion for today and bring us on to Shuffle Time. All right, let's see. Today's card is the king of wands in the reverse position so let's go ahead and see what that means fate has to store for us today the negative aspect of the card is associated as you may guess with a feeling of arrogance he can be even he can even be rather aggressive in the actual pursuit of his goals regardless of whether he's actually conscious or not of it he won't show restraint nor even the humbleness to know when his assistance isn't actually required when reversed the card depicts a personality which is prone to taking rash impulsive and hasty decisions this person could be pushy, overbearing as well as dominating at times. Even though he might rarely do this with a sense of malice or with an intention to make someone feel submissive, this is without a doubt a part of his character that one can be frustrated at. In reversal, the card represents the worst spectrum of the qualities of the fire, selfishness and ruthlessness. He can be manipulative as long as you are serving his purpose. With this in mind, the card definitely points out strong and weak aspects, and reflecting on his image can help you dig deeper in your personality. Okay, the timing of this one is a bit odd, or like, it feels very almost intentional. That it sounds like a lot of the card is describing Adachi today. And it's also a bit odd that yesterday was kind of talking about the positive aspects of anger and using that to kind of feel your passion to achieve your goals. But this one's kind of saying, pointing out all the negatives of being too ruthless and so on. So, you know, kind of giving a balance or almost correcting the message from yesterday but i think looking at this you can definitely see the negative aspects of it and try to avoid that and so you know i think it's when you see it laid out like this it's pretty clear what's right and what's wrong so just looking at your actions and seeing if that you see that same resemblance with this or not i think it can hopefully definitely help you get moving in the right direction but that's going to be another card down and another day done. So that's going to wrap up for today. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to follow along with the journey, as I do this every day. But either way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.